Hi, Steve here from PhotomasteryClub.com and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you one of the quickest and easiest yet most effective and natural ways to intensify the colors in your sunrise and sunset photos. So uh, before we get started and before I show you this tip, uh, because it is really, really quick, um, if you want to go and uh, download our six stage Photoshop workflow cheat sheet, which is uh, you know, it's got heaps more um, techniques and strategies for putting together a solid and consistent Photoshop workflow, then just click the link below this video now. Or you can do that after I've shown you this tip, which uh, I'm going to do right now. So the image that I've got on the screen at the moment is a great candidate for this type of enhancement. The, uh, the most important thing to know about this technique is that it really, really helps and it works best on an image where you've got a bit of color already in the sky and you just want to use that same color to, uh, to enhance and improve the uh, sort of the vibrance and really the wow factor of the, uh, of the sky uh, using the color that's already there. So the first thing you need to do for this technique is add a new empty layer to your, uh, to your image. So I'll do that just using the icon down here and then you're going to want to change the blend mode of this new layer to overlay and then you want to select your brush tool and pick an opacity of around about 30 percent and from there what we're going to do next is sample a color from the sky so with the brush tool selected if you hold alt on the keyboard or option um, alt on a pc option on a mac if you hold that on the uh, on the keyboard then you'll notice the cursor changes to this eyedropper tool and when you click on an area in your image what's going to happen is it's going to basically sample that color so the type of color that we want to sample in this image is like a darker like a colorful warm color uh, but sort of towards the darker end you know we've got a lot of warm colors here like we've got these bright yellows uh, almost going to white but then, like as you move away from the uh, from the brightest part of the sky, we've got these sort of golden colours. So you want to pick a darker colour, but still something that's got that nice warmth to it. And once you've done that, you'll see down here that colour is now uh, our foreground colour. Now this is really uh, it's it's so simple, it's stupid, really. But uh, let's uh, let's do it anyway. So all you do now is just take your brush and brush into your image where you want to paint this color. And so if I just brush throughout the uh, sky there, you'll see as I do that, the uh, the color that I've sampled has now, uh, you know, we've, we've bled that into the rest of the sky and into those clouds. So that's it, that's the technique. Um, if you, well, there are a couple of other modifications you can do to this. If you um, you know, want to like blend it in a little bit, then you can maybe reduce the opacity after you've made this adjustment. So you can use the opacity um, of the layer to just kind of tweak how strong this effect is. Um, or, you know, it's always worth having a look and switching the blend mode between overlay and soft lights. So, you know, these two do a similar thing. They work in a similar way, but just that, you know, it's going to have a slightly different effect. Soft light is usually a little bit more subtle. Overlay is a bit more contrasty, but yeah, that's a topic for another day, really. Um, but yeah, you can you can just flip between those two and just see, even though you make the adjustment with the overlay blend mode, you know, it might actually look a little bit better if you flip it to uh, soft light. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's it really. A really quick tip. Um, you know, I hope you uh, enjoy using this on your images. And like I said at the start, if you want to go and download our free um, Photoshop workflow, a six stage workflow PDF, then uh, just click the link below this video and you'll be taken off to the page where you can uh, where you can get that PDF download. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.